in a sample of 1155 patients, we have 19.1% with some major injuries. All right, so that's the first piece of information. Of those that do have major injuries, some develop skin problems. Notice they don't tell us the percent of the skin problems, but they do ask us for it. So they say, what percentage, okay, so that's the rate of the patients with major injuries uh, in the sample develop skin problems. Okay, so they want to know what the percent with major injuries have these skin problems. So that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to go come back to that last um, line there in, in just a second. Now let's write down these givens. Now when I approach these types of questions, when I am just counting and I have a percentage or a rate breakdown between a population, I always like to start with drawing out a branching tree and in that branching tree I begin with kind of the root of the total, total uh, population in the sample. So in this case my total population is given and it's 1155. Now they tell me, okay, so out of those that we have 19.1% and 19.1% as a decimal is 0 0.191. So these ones have these um, major injuries. And now on the opposite branch, okay, I will have 100%, so I will have the remainder, which is 100%, so that's 1 as a decimal minus, okay, the 19.1%. Okay, and those ones do not have major injuries. So those are my two kind of branches from the beginning. Now they say, of those that do have major injuries, so that's these guys, um, some develop these skin problems. And now, of course, I don't know what percent develop because that's what they're asking me for. So I need to you know, set the rate here. So rate of the skin problems, I'll just put RS for the rate of the skin problems and on the opposite branch those ones will be the one with major injuries but do not have okay, skin problems and that will be 100 percent minus the rate of the ones that do have it okay so again these ones are with the skin problems okay and these ones are that do not have the skin problems and now let's come back to that last sentence because it's uh, important or at least that last line now, in that last line that tell us that we have 184 patients with major injuries, okay, so with major injuries right here in the sample, and they do not develop skin problems, okay? So notice, do not develop skin problems. So I have, um, sorry, 184 of those. Okay, and now we have to solve Okay, because notice what they're asking us for, so let's you know define it. So we have to solve for RS. That's at least what they're what they want. So let RS, okay, so be the sample with major injuries. Okay, and skin problems. That's what they want. They want the percentage of that. But that's not what we're given, okay? Because here, that's that would be what they're looking for. But we're given this, okay? So notice. So when you're setting up your equations, you are going to have to follow the path of the given. And don't worry, you will be able to solve for what you are looking for after you create your equation. So that was given, and that's the path that you should follow. And now, once we have that, I can create my equation. So again, I go from the back to the front with this. So I have 184 equals, and then I will multiply these out. Copy this through. And now I can solve the equation. So I'm going to be solving for RS, which is actually what I want, right, out of this equation. Okay, so let's do that. 
So first, before you start distributing across any brackets here, notice that you can actually simplify this a little bit. So here we're going to get 0 0.191 multiplied by 11.55. So I have 1 minus Rs, and that's going to be times, so the multiplication is 220.605. So don't start rounding as of yet. So this is what I have. And now indeed, now I can go ahead and bring this inside of the brackets. Again, don't forget, you have to multiply it by both terms. So I'm going to get 220.605 minus 220.605 RS. And now we will solve. Okay, so let's solve by moving the variable on one side and then collecting the terms on the other side. So I'm going to bring this over to the left-hand side. So that's going to go over there. And I'm going to bring this to the right-hand side. And now the signs will change, of course. So 220.605 RS equals to 220.605 minus 184. OK? So now, if I do the subtraction here, I'm going to get 40. Point 605. Okay, whoops. I got ahead of myself. Let me, so 220.605 minus 184. So that's 36.605. And now I have to get rid of that 220. right here. So I'm going to divide both sides by that, like so. Okay, so that will cancel this off. And I will get my answer. Okay, so let's take that in, divided by 220.605. And that's 0 0.16593, and so on. Now we're supposed to provide the percentage, so we have to change this to a percent. And in this case, let's just double check. Okay, they don't ask us to round to anything. Okay, so we have approximately 16 point, okay, so 593 and so one percent. I will round this to the tenth. You know, you can always ask your teachers or maybe the question will state. This one actually doesn't. So we have 16 point six percent okay if it was rounded to the tenth and that's how many had those skin problems from the major injuries all right so that's how you would approach this question i hope that you found this uh, useful thank you for watching